I'm going to begin, uh, guys, by asking, I mean, this film is a real kind of fascinating study on the kind of notion of um, heroism and it's sort of very much the blurring of the line between good and evil, I suppose. Um, is that part, in, in part what attracted you both to getting involved in this project? Yeah, definitely. It's not a black and white version in which, you know, heroic soldiers uh, fight the cold-blooded terrorist monsters. Um, that would surely not have interested us. So I was attracted by the multi perspectives on on you know on that event uh, and on that operation um, so mm -hmm. all these different voices are heard and that is necessary in a, in a conflict which is as complex as as this one and also the interest of Jose in finding the human beings behind the facade of a of a terrorist you know to understand their motivations to understand uh, what drives them and uh, we were asked before about empathy, so you don't necessarily feel have to feel empathy, but you understand what um, yeah what drives these persons. I mean, you've you've both played characters before that have done a bad thing. You know, you've both played mm -hmm. like, great characters, and some characters have done quite reprehensible in some of their actions. As actors, do you always need to understand their motives and and find that empathy with the characters in order to portray them? You have to know what. Um is driving someone and you have to believe in their cause or as them you have to believe in their cause otherwise you it's not as interesting to play and you don't own it you don't own the belief you know you have to it's it's more than just lines it's the energy behind the line that will make you believe or not believe um, and, and the audience believe or not believe um, I mean I always think it's it's interesting to play with an audience's expectation so in the case of Brigitte and Boza there's you know, you won't admire what they do, but if at any point you feel something for them, then that's quite interesting along the way. You probably won't give a damn in the end what happens to them, but but if at any point we make you feel something, then that's complicated for an audience. It's challenging. Mm -hmm. um, I was like working with, with Jose on this one. I mean, obviously he comes with an incredible back castle of narcos in particular is what I mean, I'm mean, a huge fan of. Uh, but what, what, what sort of director is he? And was he a big draw as well in signing off? He's provocative. <laughs> I like he's provocative. And he is uh, a Duracell rabid. He is, uh, he never sits down. And I remember the shoe to be like a guerrilla style, very South American. I mean, is unpredictable. Uh, and that's what made it so refreshing. So you had the page and you had, you know, uh, roughly the schedule for the day, but then different things happened. <laughs> yeah, and, he, and he's, he has, he's always going to make something that might offend somebody, might please somebody else, and, and I think that's what's exciting. You know, the people are going to have very different, strong reactions to this film, depending on where they come from. And José is, uh, he, he kind of gets in and likes all his characters. He, he, it's not, you know, it's not that this character is representing the hero and this is representing, you know, the bad guy. He's sort of into all of them. It's, it's cool. How did you find the accent? And was it quite nice for you, Daniel, have, not having, letting someone else oh. have the burden of the accent? Daniel had to enhance his German it accent. A, it was a dream. No, no, it was... Yeah, normally I'm supposed to, you know, adapt and speak in a different language. And so I could not believe when she was <laughs> starting to talk in, in perfect German. And by day two, I started to speak in German <laughs> to Rosamund uh, automatically because I, 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 I thought, well, she's a, she's a German actress. Rosamunde. I was I was blown away, you know, and it's so good because we um, we we talked about it yesterday. There was a different energy to the scenes in 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 German. They worked better because we always shot two versions, and after each take, we thought like, oh, I just it was better in German. Yeah, it just gave it, it was a privilege. You know, it's a crazy thing to be asked to do as an English actress to, and it's one thing to play a German with a sort of accented English, but another thing to be asked to actually speak in in the language and it was it was like this sort of being a wonderful con artist or something you know yeah. you got to sort of I got to speak quite advanced German without being able to sort of basically find my way around Berlin but I could um, you know have a complex discussion about sort of politics <laughs> it's a very I'm back to front way of learning a language you know? well, thank you so much for your time today much appreciate thank it you. thank you